What is up my dudes, cheap bastard talking to ya and in today's video I am going to be reviewing my personal Philips 27.5 E1S monitor. So, I've been using this monitor for 2 months now and I bought it new for 190 euros which I think was a pretty good deal considering for the specs I got. So it is a 27 inch IPS 2560 by 1440 resolution monitor also known as 1440p and not 2k. Guys, 1440p is not 2k. I'll leave some links in the description to prove it. It also has a 75hz refresh rate, 4 millisecond response time and 250 nit brightness. And for those unbox therapy dudes, here's a speedrun unboxing. What you get inside this cardboard box is a monitor, power cable, HDMI cable and a bunch of paperwork. As for the ports, it has an HDMI, display port, audio out and a VGA. Don't really know why would you need this one. And that's it. No USB, no DVI, no speakers, literally nothing else. Well, at least these ports are easily accessible so you won't need to punch a bunch of toys in the store out of frustration after trying to plug something in. <laughs> And I should talk about the design of this thing, but it is so basic that I fell asleep trying to find anything interesting about it. <sighs> the bezels are rather small and the bottom chin is big, but it doesn't catch an eye at all unless you pay attention to it. The UI is really simple and easy to use without any insane features and the stand is, once again, really simple and Maybe it has more wiggle room than I would want to, but it does the job fine. And by the way, tilt is only possible vertically. Okay, okay, I know that after this even your cat went to sleep. But what about the screen? And to be honest, as Doug Demuro would say, it has its own quirks and features. Because IPS panels usually have insanely good viewing angles, but this one is really strange. It gives you this quake style POV, which is not noticeable when you're looking straight at the monitor, but moving your head around reveals the darkened shades in places where your vision is not concentrated, which can get annoying if you're looking at this monitor from the side. Colors on this monitor are really good and accurate enough to make your dog scared. Brightness is on the lower side but acceptable for me. Ghosting although is present. Present. With this Halloween themed white trees following you from behind, which is not noticeable in games, but really noticeable when you're reading something online. Speaking of games, this 4 millisecond input lag is actually not noticeable, and 75Hz refresh rate screen smoothens things out in comparison to 60Hz panels. Playing CSGO and Valorant is really pleasant and great, but where this monitor really shines is AAA games and editing. For these kind of things, this monitor is pretty much ideal. I would say. And I think that we should weigh the pros and cons of this monitor, with the cons being boring office grade design, weird focus effect, ghosting, mediocre stand and lack of tilt option. And the pros are great price for the specs. Yeah. <laughs> to conclude, if I knew about this monitor, I would have saved a bit more and bought a Samsung CJG5 once again, because this one is too boring and basic, but you know what, it does the job fine. And because this monitor was really boring and I failed to make it look interesting, don't even bother subscribing. Just stay cheap my dudes and cheap bastard out to sleep even though it's 1pm.